the paradigm word is for verbs, pa'al. And so we count the pe as the first root position, the ayin as the second, and the lamad as the third. So in the case where a noon is in the first position, we call it a pe noon verb. And here's several examples of pe noon verbs. Nafal, to fall, nagash, to come near, or to draw near, natan, to give, and then a little bit unusual, lachach. We count lachach as a penun because the lamed acts as though it were a noon. Now here are some examples of these same words, and these are each in the kal, imperfect form. And we can see that just what we would expect, there's a competition for the front of the word between the noon and the subject pronoun, and the subject pronoun always wins. And in this case, the noon assimilates into the middle root letter. So, ye pull, he will fall, ye gosh. He will draw near. Ye tain. He will give. And ye kach. He will take. So again, it's probably on the analogy of natan lakach. These two words that are so similar to give and to take. Uh, used so often together. That perhaps that's why the lamed functions just like the noon on the beginning of natan. So this is what we will see when they're together uh, together or apart. When they're in the Bible, they'll be yitain yikach, with the dagesh in the kof, in this case, being the lamed assimilated. And here is um, nagad, very common uh, word to tell. And it's a hifiel word, so it appears, I think, always in the hifiel. So yagid imperfect, he will tell. However, when it's in the Vav consecutive imperfect, it apocopates vayaged. So we can still see that it's in the hifiel because of the patak under the prefix pronoun, but it's apocopated, so we don't have the hirik yod uh, holding the other letters apart. So in short, we need to um, just become familiar with the assimilation of the noon, just as we would in our pronunciation rules, but those same rules apply in the case of the conjugations of the Paynun verbs. Genesis forty four fourteen Vayavo Vaechav Beta Yosef Vayipalu Lifanav Artsa. And the subject here is Judah and his brothers. It's a compound subject, but very often the verb only agrees with the first part of a compound subject. That's the case here uh, with Vayavo. And Judah came, or rather, and Judah and his brothers came, here we have the directive hey, to the house of Joseph. And they fell down before him to the ground. Another directive, hey. So the verb, vayipalu, comes from noon, pe, lamed, to fall. In this case, we have a kal, vav consecutive, imperfect, 3mp. So while in the first phrase, the compound subject winds up having a 3ms, only agreeing with the first part of the subject. In the second part of this um, sentence, the uh, verb winds up agreeing with a full compound subject, so it's plural. And as you can see, uh, we can see here the um, noon has assimilated into the pe, leaving behind a dagish forte. Genesis four nineteen, Vaikach lo lemech shete nashim. The subject is uh, lamech or lemech. 
and Lamech took for himself two wives. The verb Vaikach comes from Lamed, Kof, Chet. And this is in the call. And we can see that it's Vav consecutive imperfect 3ms. And of course, the subject Lamech is spelled out. Now, it's just a little unusual since this is uh, uh, the verb begins with a Lamed, first root letter but it functions like a noon in its assimilation. Again, perhaps on the analogy of to give Natan and to take Lakach. Perhaps the uh, two first root letters function the same. But in any case, we can see the Dagesh in the Kof, which signifies the assimilation of the Laman. So we treat Lakach, a little unusually, as a pay noon verb, because the first root letter functions as though it were a noon. Genesis 9.22 Vayar chem avi kana'an Et ervat aviv Vayaged lifne echav bachutz The subject is Ham, the father of Canaan. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father. And he told to his two brothers outside. Vayaged comes from Nun, Gimel, Dalit, to tell. And in this case, we have a hyphial uh, form, a uh, stem, and we can see this because of the patach under the prefix pronoun. That tells us it's a hyphial, and it's vav consecutive imperfect 3ms, and he told. And so we have the apocopation again with the, instead of a hyric yod, it is reduced to atzere, vayagade. Uh, so this is very characteristic of the uh, pe nun um, vav consecutive imperfects. And here we can see the nun assimilated as a dagish forte into the gimel.